That is crazy. We got the POR 15. I bought some brushes, some cheap brushes, because they're probably going to get destroyed. But we got this. We're going to paint it up in that interior and uh, kill some rust and stop some rust. Okay. God, this is going to look awesome. Plus, I'm going to be high as a kite when I'm done. I don't think a preacher should be saying that. I know. It's not like I'm looking to do it. It's just going to happen on accident. <laughs> oh, dang. Please tell me it's not on the floor. Uh, it might be. Can you look? Not really. Oh, it's on the floor. Is it? A little bit. Oh, we need something to wipe it up real quick. We need actually someone watching for that. It's on the floor, dang it. Now to let this dry. And then we're probably going to put it on the back since there's so much of it. There's a whole gallon and this isn't even used a quarter of it. Look at him go. PRR 15. Painting away. He's like Van Gogh. Yeah, kind of, you want me to bite your ear off like Mike Tyson? Huh? Would that be ludicrous? Is that? There's Papa. I went the wrong way. He's cleaning up in the shop. He's the handyman clean person. He's the smart one. He didn't want all this crap all over his hands. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? Carb cleaner does a pretty good job. Took most of it off anyway. Not all of it. We've almost got this whipped. Yeah. The top. Hopefully it'll do that. Or not do that. Yeah. I think it's pretty well good. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. All right. This is the bar deal that holds the hood up. On the other side, it's been broke off. Uh, there's, there's nothing there anymore. But uh, there's a screw here that's welded by uh, rust. So we're gonna see if we can hook something up to set like that. But we were digging around in the, tre in the treasure chest, which we showed in a video before. And we found, uh, where'd it go? Anyone know? Oh, there it is. We found this. It's an old, I believe a coon dog, dog tag. It's got my grandpa's name on it. And then I believe a phone number. But we found this and we might be able to put the screw in and bend it around and use it as a little hook to set that in. So we're, we're fancy around here. So once again, like Blake said on this hood latch here as it's missing, we're gonna try to take this, looks like a short bolt off. I noticed there's a nut on the back side, so we're gonna PB blast it and see if this ain't gonna help us. It is rusty. Oh crap, I lost it. There's so much rust here, I don't even know where it's at. What the heck? It disappeared. Up there, isn't it? Nope. That's not it. 
pretty positive that's it right there. Oh, I found it, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's plenty. You want it to where it's dripping completely into your floor. That's when you know you have enough. See? Perfect. Now we can find a half inch wrench. So that made pretty quick of it. Just a old screw gun and 7 16 wrench. And it is off. So we're going to try to reuse this. Make this into the hook we need because we are professional. Don't try that at home. See what happens. But we're going to clean these up a little bit first. Well, mission complete. The dog tag, the coon dog tag worked perfect. Fits in there nice. You can even tighten it up, you know, by just pushing on it because it's thin aluminum. But that worked really nice. So uh, we're all done. And if you want us to do some professional mechanical work for you, just call 1-800. We don't know what we're doing, so. It's very important to keep the shop clean in your shop because you need to pick up your tools so you know where they're at. Where's the broom? In the cab, like you saw a minute ago, we pop riveted some metal to fill the holes, and now we're putting some fiberglass to cover any holes that uh, the metal might have left, any little openings. And then after that, we're gonna paint it black like the rest of it, all over, like over in here and whatever, with that, uh, what's that called? Pour 15, yeah, Pour 15. 15. So yeah, I done some really artistic fiberglassing. You're probably like, hey, could you do some body work on my BMW M5? No, Mark Castillo, I will not. <laughs> I get begged all the time because I am a body working fool, AKA don't know what I'm doing. We're back in Papa's shop with Cannonball. We're masking some stuff off because we're gonna get ready to paint the interior. We've already painted some up here. We're gonna be painting the engine bay completely. We've already painted a little bit with some uh, Rust-Oleum black gloss paint. We're thinking going with a silver for the engine to make it pop and uh, I think they were originally 
silver. Here at Cannonball, we only do professional stuff, as you know, and seen. So, I mean, for painting, that's why we got this big machine. You want to do things right. So, we're going to do some painting on this interior, and, and we're going to make sure that it is pristine. So, the pros look, they'll know it was done right. That is crazy. 